Hello! We are really busy at the moment in beta testing for HitFilm Mac, which is coming along very nicely, but it means we don't have as much time as usual to be creating tutorials. As such, we've reached out to the community to present some guest tutorials to you. So today, we're going to kick off this with a tutorial from Maya Pictures. He's been making tutorials ever since HitFilm 1 came out. They're really good stuff, so do check out his channel. Today we have a tutorial all about creating procedural star fields. So, without further ado, I'm going to hand you over to Mark. Hi, this is Mark from Maya Pictures and welcome to another exciting tutorial about HitFilm from FX Home. And today we want to take a look on how we can create a star field. You may think, what the heck, you've already told us about how to create a star field in your first tutorial. And you're right. But instead of using a particle simulator, we have HitFilm 2 and I want to show you some alternative techniques. So let's create a new project, start editing and add a new composite shot. So rename it to stars one, for example, and create a new plane to the black background color, hit create. And for our first example, I'm using the noise effect. So type in noise and drag and drop it onto your stars plane. Double click on it to get its values. And you will see a lot of colorized stars here. And to make them monochrome or only white, black and white, just uh, activate the monochrome property. And to get rid of this a lot of stars, so to, to shrink it to a nice value, uh, we are using two other filters or one other filter, and this is called the threshold filter. So <clears throat> track it beneath the noise filter. And if you take a, a value here of 50, you may use the half of it minus the last value. So type in 24.9, for example, or to get more stars, decrease the value to dot eight. And here are your stars. But we have a problem here, cause if you start the animation, well, the noise effect generates a lot of, well, noise. So to get rid of it, just add a last filter. So I'm choosing the speed effect and drop it beneath the threshold, open it up. And with this effect, you can um, speed up things or slow down things. So we want to slow down it or freeze our animation. So just type in a value of zero. And now our effect has been freezed and our stars are complete. Okay, go to the menu, create a new composite shot. We name it to stars two. And choose a old stars player for the next example. And instead of using the noise effect, I'm using now the fractal noise. So put it on the stars layer. Double click on it to get its properties. Go to the, or open up the transform properties, the axis scale, and we set it to one, one. So we got a lot of stars here. We choose the same threshold effect as before, and simply play with the threshold value to get the stars you want. And the advantage of using the fractal noise instead of the noise effect is that if you play the animation, you have no generated noise over the time here. Okay. If you want to create twinkle stars, here's one possible solution. So go to the media pane and create a new composite shot. Rename it to twinkle. Put in the already used stars plane and add a clouds effect. Double click on it, go to the experience, appearance and the shape. So increase the frequency, maybe about 12 and increase the cloud brightness. Okay, so go back to the stars composite shot, put in the Twinkle comp, hide it, and add a set mate effect. Be sure that this effect is the last one of the effect chain. Double click on it, choose a source layer, twinkle layer, and as a mate source, luminance. 
And now you have some uh, nice twinkle stars. So the last two star fields are only 2D. So let's create a 3D star field. Create a new comp shot. Stars 3. Add a new layer. White stars. Choose the white as the background color and hit create. Now type in atomic particle. Drop it on the plane, double click to open up its properties and go to the particle appearance. Decrease the size to 3. Use the size from them. And the opacity random of 1. Decrease the number of particles, 300 by 300. And open up the fractal node. So put in a waistline of 1 and freeze the speed. And now increase the displace strength. So that's all to do to get a 3D star field. Because if you go or open up the position properties, you can play with a position keyframe. And bigger stars in the front are flying faster than little ones in the background. You can also animate the death value. And if you want to rotate in the star field, you have to create a new 3D point. We name it to target, make it 3D. Open up the atomic particle, go to the position and choose the transform from the target. Go to the target point and now you can rotate in the star field as you want. So let's animate the death property. So be sure on the first keyframe, one at a time, and put in a value of property 200. Or oh, it's too, too less, maybe 600. Hide the axis. Okay, here's our animated star field. If you take a closer look to the big stars, they are a little bit too hard. So let's try to fix this. Go back to the media pane, create a new composition shot, or name it to blurred star, and choose a dimension by 50 by 50 pixels. Hit create, create a new plane, rename it to blurred star again, or two. Make sure the backdrop is white and hit create. Now add a sphere effect on it. Double click, open up the radius and decrease this value until we get a nice shape. Okay, go back to the composite shot, drop the blurred star comp on it hide it, open up the atomic particle, go to the particle experience, choose shape of layer and source blurred star. And now the stars are a little bit soften. No, not as here. So let's tweak our scene. So um, maybe increase the size up to six, go to the depth of field property and enable list, choose camera, open up the lens properties, choose a aperture of maybe 150, focus distance of 500, so we get nice depth of field effect. Now um, create a new create layer, 
and add a tit effect and an exposure effect. So let's tint it to a nice orange color and brighten up the scene. Okay. This looks good. And if you want to have a cloning point in the middle, you may turn on the blurred star. So we got one and uh, open up the spherical warp, put in a value of minus 200 and increase radius by maybe this value. And it looks like we have an influence field in the middle. You may add a lens flare effect. So the light flare. Center it, uh, choose maybe a sun flare. Scale it a little bit up. And here are our uh, 3D star fields. Thanks for watching. Have a nice time. Goodbye.